in the Albert Nurkin School of Engineering here at the Cooper Union, we have degrees in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, and civil engineering. And there are other service departments. We have physics, we have mathematics, we have chemistry. At the core of it, I think engineers like to solve problems. A form of training of the mind that puts you in a position to be a leader, to solve problems in almost any walk of life. An engineer breaks down problems into much smaller problems, determines uh, the solution using math and science. An engineer could be in any field out there. Uh, this person could be in, in science, math, could be in finance. We have so many students who, who go into patent law and medicine, and there are problems everywhere. We're just preparing our students to go into any field out there. They encounter a problem and they are not satisfied with the way the current model is being done, so they change it. I started to become interested in engineering um, probably towards the middle of high school and I realized that math and science were really um, the subjects I enjoyed and I realized that um, sort of the applied sciences as opposed to pure sciences were definitely more of what attracted me. It mainly comes from just a deeper interest in math and science and just everything that goes into engineering. Being a student at Cooper Union is it's um, an intense experience. You, know, you come here and you come here to learn. We're looking for really smart students who have demonstrated an ability to do well in math and science, who show a commitment to wanting to be an engineering student. Not only do we in the admissions office meet with them and we have a student show them around, but if possible, we try to have our faculty also engage with the individuals. I think that the learning environment can best be described as a collaborative, competitive environment. You have 20 to 30 students, depending on the course, you might even have down to eight. So you have this conservatory style approach. I can't think of another school where you can easily just pop into an office and just have a chat with the professor about anything. It doesn't even have to be about the class. What the professors do is we craft that student's experience. Really focusing on technical rigor, but at the same time, breadth, understanding how uh, engineering can be used to solve problems in society, professional skills, and applying their skills to real world problems. All major courses are taken with the same group of students as you progress through your four years. So this group really bonds together. At other schools, the competitive nature is that you're trying to beat the other person. But here, you collaborate so that we can all succeed, so that we can all solve those problems together as a team. It takes the collective effort of a class to work through problem sets or study for tests. Um, and that's actually something that I find to be really unique and special here. Engineers are really being called upon to address uh, the most critical global and social problems. Problems that the National Academy of Engineers calls the grand challenges. So things like uh, providing clean water to all parts of the world, sustainability, urban infrastructures, you know, the list goes on. But all of these problems require attention from multiple disciplines. So interacting with, you know, students that focus on other majors in engineering actually allows you to learn more about engineering in a global context and learn more about what engineering means to society and not just in your particular major. The boundaries between these different disciplines are becoming grayer and grayer. So in order to be an effective engineer in your discipline, you have to know enough about the other disciplines as well. And Cooper is the place to come for that. I love Cooper Union not just for the subject that I'm studying, which is engineering, but also because it has an amazing art and architecture school. I'm actually taking classes from all three schools this semester. Having that close connection and being easily exposed to art and architecture um, really helps. Also, our faculty members have great connections with so many people around the New York area. We say that New York City is our campus, and so what we do is we send our students out to different construction projects, to different engineering projects, and, and museums and galleries and studios, and use those locations as labs. Any parent is you know, essentially entrusting their son and daughter to an institution, wants to know and believe and be reassured that they are being cared for as well as they would be at home. Student affairs, our primary goal is to take care of the whole student. I mean, the, the academics are huge, they matter, and we support those as well. But there's a whole other element to who a person is. When I was sort of dropped in the middle of New York City at 17 years old, 
Um, I'm thankful that um, I got to live in the dorm. The Office of Student Affairs is actually located inside of the Student Residence Hall. We have uh, over 150 different student organizations and clubs. I'm actually currently the president of our chapter of the National Society of Black Engineers. We have you know, break dancing club, uh, ballroom dancing club, and then traditional student leadership opportunities. These different clubs have taught me a lot of really um, useful skills, especially um, in terms of leadership. The captain of our basketball team is a Rhodes Scholar candidate. So he's doing his uh, undergraduate and graduate degree in chemical engineering, and he's also, at the time he's a sophomore, he's been, he was accepted to the Mount Sinai MD PhD program. They understand that it's, it's, uh, there's more to do in life than just study, and they have to be young people in Manhattan. I mean, this is the greatest place in the world to be geographically, so academically, athletically, socially, the environment is tremendous for Cooper Union people. Coming to the city was fantastic. <laughs> uh, I grew up in a quiet suburb and the city was exciting and new. There are a couple of really great venues. For example, Webster Hall is just a couple of blocks away from Cooper. And also just all of the fun things you get to go do and especially East Village has the best food ever. And I mean, you find these hole in the wall places that I now go to once and twice a week and know everyone who works there. It's a wonderful city. There's never been a single day since I moved here that I've been bored. There's always something to do. Sometimes there's too much to do. The undergraduates are the ones who are really driving the research. And that's something very special about this place, where the, the undergraduates are the ones in the laboratory applying what they learn in the classroom to real world problems. In medicine, there is a condition called stenosis, and that's where one of your major arteries has narrowed, so blood isn't able to flow properly. It's life-threatening. Um, and the treatment for this is to install a stent, which is essentially a scaffolding that holds that artery open. The installation of a stent involves the inflation of a balloon. However, this balloon expansion is very damaging to your arteries. And so I was thinking of developing a new kind of stent. And I want to do so by combining my greatest passion of origami with what I know in engineering. Because if you think about the problem of a stent, it needs to be small and compact. And then when it reaches the site, it needs to be able to expand to a, a larger structure and while still retaining structural integrity. And that's essentially a folding problem. We know that in order to truly comprehend a concept, you have to apply it to something in front of you. We took engines apart. We actually saw how they worked inside and out and you become very familiar with things in terms of not just knowing what the science is, but actually how these machines work. They learn, yeah, the nuts and bolts, they learn the forces and the energy, they learn the thermodynamics, but they also learn engineering economy, they learn business management, and they, they learn project management, which is something so key in an engineer's day-to-day -day life. We have exchange programs with other countries because they will learn uh, about conditions that are so different from ours. How do you work in those conditions? How do you build structures? How do you get things done? What would surprise people about engineering? And the answer is that excellent written and oral communication skills are important. Our students get that through the humanities and social science curriculum. One of the principles, I think, of a Cooper education, and certainly one of the principles at HSS, is that the ability to communicate through writing and speaking is absolutely essential. And this is something that we prioritize at Cooper. The Writing Center helps students understand how to communicate, what's at stake. Because at a time in their lives, as they go through their career, they're going to have to convince people of why the particular technical solution they're proposing is important to the company or to the project. And having an engineering school in New York is actually really rewarding because it opens up so many opportunities. New York City is fast becoming a technology innovation center that will rival Silicon Valley. In this city, you have the biggest banks. You have the best boutique firms. And anybody who wants to segue into all these different opportunities, you can really go into it, and it's all right at your fingertips. I speak to employers all the time, and I speak to alumni who are themselves employers, and they seek out Cooper Union graduates. After he graduated, he started his master's program here at Cooper, and then while he was here, um, he was recruited by SpaceX. Anybody who hires a Cooper Union student in any of the fields, whether it's architecture, art, or engineering, 
As soon as they hire somebody from Cooper Union, that's all they want to hire. Credit Suisse is going to continue to come to, to Cooper Union because you've offered us such a, um, a diverse group of people. And a Cooper Union graduate um, with an engineering background gets it. Peter Cooper, our founder, used an expression, minds that soar. And that is, is my mantra as we look for students. Students who are curious, intellectually curious about the world. Cooper Engineering is definitely tough, but you shouldn't expect to know everything about engineering when you're first entering college. I didn't. I, I went into engineering thinking I would be way behind. Everyone's gonna, you know, be in a robotics club in high school when I never was, or done wood shop their entire life when I never did. Um, but you don't need any of that because you're in, you're in college to learn, and that's what you, you have to do. You just have to be willing to learn. When you come to Cooper, you'll have, you'll have the best and the brightest amongst you who keep thinking about how can we make things better. That's, the, that's one of the engineers' mottos. It could always be better. <laughs>